Every limbed creature had to grow their arms and legs at some point. And whether that process starts in the womb or the world, it almost always begins with little bumps called limb buds. These buds are full of progenitor cells, a cornucopia of cell types that can differentiate into various tissues, including muscles, cartilage, ligaments, and tendons. The progenitors differentiate and multiply rapidly as the limb bud develops. Nerves grow into the limb from nearby cell bodies, and a network of blood vessels form, which fuel the process with oxygen. Eventually, that tiny bud grows into a full infant limb. Most salamanders, including axolotls, develop their limbs in the same way. But unlike other animals, they can also start this process all over again if they need to. When salamanders lose a limb, surrounding skin cells quickly surge across the wound's surface. This new layer of skin is called the wound epidermis, and once established, it signals cells in the underlying limb stump to undergo something called de-differentiation. This process reverts nearby cells from fully developed limb tissues back into an earlier, less specialized progenitor cells. At the same time, the peripheral nervous system fires up stem cells throughout the salamander's body, 